Hey, it's Kevin from Fort Quad Hatters in the East Village. Uh, what we're going to do today is basically stretch a hat, uh, stretch a felt hat with a leather sweatband, you know, an old hat. Um, leather sometimes can be dried out, so you always have to sort of check it. Um, see, it has a tiny bit of stretch in it. If it looks like it's going to tear, uh, especially in the back seam where it's sewn, you know, uh, in the back there, you know, you should always warn the person before they're going to stretch the hat that it could pop in the seam where the, the leather could just crack. Uh, there's a very good chance it will happen with a good stretch. Uh, always keep the steam away from the leather band on the inside. Never steam on the inside or let the leather touch the steam. Um, you get a steam through the band, basically in the back of the hat, behind the head, right here, and you're going to try to hit the seam. There's a seam here where it's stitched, sometimes there's a bow. You try to find the outside of that, right there. You're gonna steam it up and down, up and down, get that whole area soft so that the seam is elastic. So when you start stretching it, and you know, just stretching out and out, that part doesn't pop. So it's the back of the hat, right where the seam is, and around there, get that whole area just nice and, you know, you want it hot, but you don't want to overdo it if you think that leather is really dried out or has potential to dry out because you'll burn it. Just so, you know, stretch it, get it, get it hot, and that's it. Stretch, get it hot, twist, get it a little hotter, twist like that. Go slowly. Um, steam line. Always uh, use these wooden hat stretchers or these hat jacks. Um, they come in different widths, so you could uh, stretch them all the holes, or you could just stretch you know, the whole hat. You know, the narrower ones, like the size mediums, are skinnier, so they only stretch length. Um, they both, they all, all the sizes go pretty wide, though. You know, so like a double X. Or, okay. Let's get it in the hat. and tight but not crazy tight now what I like to do is get the top of the hat jack even to this line so that if there's a stretch mark in the back you know if it's coming out like a step it's going to be a little bit disguised by this line of the band line so I go up and down and I feel for it I try to get that stretch mark right on the line the idea is to get it to stretch in the back where people can't see it and then at the very end, we get rid of the stretch, the side effects, you know, basically smooth the head out. Okay, steam in the back by the seam. Get it a little hot. And sometimes if you listen while you heat it up, you'll hear it stretching a little pop. stretching if you those pumps. Now if you want to stretch a hat, let's say 20%, you have to overstretch it. Stretch to like 40 and figure by the time everything comes back and relaxes, shrinks back, you'll get that 20%. So almost stretch it double what you want. The hat should actually feel big when, when you put it on, not just right. It should feel a little big when you take it right off the stretcher. You know, an hour or later or so, it'll cool even more and shrink back. Okay. Stretch the back. Just the back. Alright. I think that's enough. Now, I stretch a lot. I like to stretch a lot. Other people don't want to overdo it because they're afraid to wreck the hat, but they don't get results. Uh, come back to me and they say, well, I got the hat stretched and it didn't work, it shrunk back. So what you gotta do is over stretch it. Try to stretch it so it's even with this line, these hat jacks, get it really big so it's eventually gonna look kind of like, like a step. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna blend it back with your hands on the inside using a stick. Okay, wait till this is totally cool before you take it out. You can give it a stretch more if you can. Take it out when it's totally cool. I should wait more. 
it shouldn't feel wet or hot before you take that out. Don't take it out prematurely. You know, just keep that structure in until it feels nice and you know dry. And you can see this is a big stretch. It's like huge. Okay. Um, first thing we want to do is check out what kind of side effects. You know, stretch marks are there. It's not that bad. But what I want to do is blend this line here. Blend it. So I'm going to keep that whole area up. See the back of the hat. Keep it up. Above it, below it, and on it. And I'm going to kind of pull it. Pulling the hat towards me against that steel form. So we get a nice round, the edge of the steel form. Round impression on it. Put your hands inside and just rub away that line. Cool. You know, it's not much of a, a line there or anything. I'm trying to get a good view of it here. But uh, as far as stretch marks, a stretch right here on the line. There's not really much there. It's clean and it's really, really big. You know, it's like huge. Successful stretch. Um, that's it. I'll wait for it to cool. If you need more stretch, go again. Be careful not to burn the leather. If the leather is dried out, you're taking a risk. Uh, the leather could just burn up and shrink up to nothing, or it could uh, pop in the seam. Nevertheless, it's inevitable you need it. So it pops in the seam, let it pop, let it spread, and then you could fill that area up with a new piece of leather that you could cut off another sweatband or just some leather somewhere and just glue it in to fill up the space, you know. Um, but yeah, after that, it's stretch, you might have to somewhat reshape it, put it back together. You have to smooth out the, um, the stretch, it's like a step, so you want it to be like just a nice slope. Um, after that, you might want to check the brim. Sometimes the stretching like this will make a little kind of something in the brim. So, you know, if that happens, you hit the underside of it, catch them out to get burned, and you just lay it down against the tabletop, just kind of like that. Basically, the table hitting it, more like upside down, kind of like just flat. Using the table for a straight edge, get the other side. You have to fix up the hat. If you do a correct stretch, the hat's going to be a little bit out of shape. You're going to need to just fix it up a little bit. You know, unless it's just a barely anything to stretch, like a very small stretch, it might not show any side effects at all. Anyway, if you have any questions about, you know, stretching these hats, um, let me know. There's a comment section there. Just uh, feel free to ask me any questions. Thanks. It's Kevin from Pork by Hatters in the East Village, New York, New York.